Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I stand here truly proud as a man that is seeing this transformation going on. But the beauty of this is not only in Lagos, because this road goes and transverse Ogun State, goes into Ondo State, get into Edo State, transverse Delta State, get into River State, get into Bayelsa State, get into Akwaibom State, before he finally do a bus stop at Cross River State. Mr. President, you deserve a big round of applause. This project remained on the drawing board until recently when Ashwa Dibola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR took that audacious step to bring this lofty dream to reality. And you would like to commit that we are to execute this project within the time frame given to us and even earlier, as well as any other project to the international standard. Infrastructure is the key enabler to economic transformation. And this is a project that we can call a game changer. When we talk about concrete road, Mr. President, you look at the water situation in Victoria Island. You introduce the interlocking concrete ties, which is another kind of concrete road technology. Today, it is taking a new shape in the policy of Ministry of Works. We have used that interlocking concrete ties in many of our road works. It's my appeal that Your Excellency do everything possible to make this dream and others like the Badagri Sokoto Expressway a reality. So what we have done today is to open Nigeria to the sea to enable us to bring out the wealth to the interland. So for that, we congratulate you. The project is just more than a mere road. It's a symbol of hope, unity, and prosperity. A whole community connect communities, bring prosperity to people, create opportunity for millions for our nation to excel. We just have to be bold and courageous in our endeavors. <laughs>